Hi friends, thanks for joining me. I wanted to show you some Merry Mail. I had not been to the post office since I had gotten back from vacation and it's hard to believe even today is just one week that we've been back and we would have actually just walked in the door a few minutes ago, seven days ago. Today is Sunday that I'm filming this. Sunday the, I don't know, 10th or something. I, I have no idea what day it is. But anyway, friends, I have Merry Mail. Now, this first one comes from my friend Caroline, and she doesn't have YouTube, but she does have Instagram, and her Instagram is the Hillside Clothes Line. And I said to her, can I have your address? I want to send you a little Christmas card. And she sent it to me, and then I ran out of time to send her a Christmas card. So I'll be sending her a Valentine's Day card. But look at how gorgeous this is with the washi tape on it. While I was cutting this one open, I went ahead and cut the other ones open as well, just to save us a little bit of time down the line. And it says, Peace on Earth, and there's a beautiful dove. Ah. Look at this beautiful collage she did. I love this. She made a tree out of, it looks like different washi. That's so clever. There might be a little scrap of paper in there, but I love that. That's fantastic collage right there. It says, hi Jovi, I wish you and your family an amazing Christmas and happy new year. And thank you for being a wonderful, positive and calm person. Thanks for being a pen pal. Ah, oh, that's so nice. I love that. Being a pen pal with you, Carolyn, is a great idea. And this is from our friend Elaine McCall. And she reached out to me. She said, did you get my Christmas card? And I said, oh my goodness, I haven't been to my post office since I was back. So Elaine, yes, I got it. And look at this adorable envelope. It's so stinking cute. Elaine lives actually very near where I live. So that's kind of neat. Warm holiday wishes. And she's wishing me a happy new year and a Merry Christmas. And she says, may the closeness of friends and comfort of home renew your spirits this Christmas. Blessings and hugs, Elaine. That is so nice. And I love the tropical card. That's so fun. Now this comes from our fan. This comes from our friend Pam at Pamela's Creations. And she sent me a little card. Oh, it looks handmade. How beautiful. Oh, look at that, you guys. And there's little sequins here. Isn't it so pretty? It says, Joy to the World. Oh, she sent me some tea, and I love chai tea. Delicious. Thank you, Pam. That is so nice. Hi, Jovi. I'm not sure why I didn't put Christmas card in the box I sent you. I hope you and your family have a Merry Christmas and safe, healthy New Year. Love, Pam. Ah, And this card was made by Kim's Inspired Life. How beautiful, Kim. How wonderful. And Pam, thank you. You you didn't have to do that. You sent me you sent me a box full of goodies, but but I appreciate it and I appreciate you thinking of me and sending me some tea too. I'll have that tomorrow morning for breakfast. Now this one comes from our friend Teresa and it had gotten a little bit um, torn in the mail but this is Teresa with Carolina Bug and and wait before we look at it look at this cutie here so cute ah so nice oh wow this is fun this is like a little shaker maybe oh yeah it is a shaker oh, oh. <laughs> well it's hard to shake cards when there's goodies inside so let's just take a look at the, the front it says Merry Christmas. That's that's lifted up on pop dots. That's beautiful. I love this. That's awesome. And look at these gorgeous tags. Hi Jovi. Wish you a very Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Thanks for your friendship and support on my channel. Lugs and hub, hugs, Teresa. And then look at this. Okay, hold on. Let's look at these first. These are beautiful. I love them. So pretty. And it says to and from, so I can use those next year for Christmas. Ah, they're gorgeous. And then, oh good, she sent me an ATC. How nice. And it's got all of her information on it. Actually, let me read it to you. So her, her YouTube is Carolina Buck, and she's given me her um, birth date, which is November 11th, and her email. And she says, I love all things crafty. I love flowers, butterflies, and birds. I love to be outdoors. I enjoy growing flowers and working in my yard. Favorite colors are purple and pink. I can identify with that for sure. So these are just lovely. Thank 
you, Teresa. That's so nice of you. I love your card. Now this, I'm not sure who sent this to me, but it's from Santa Clara, California, and there was no name on it, just the address. So let's take a look and see what we've got here. These are all beautiful, you guys. Thank you for thinking of me. Oh my goodness, look at that. Merry Christmas, look at all that glitter. Oh, that's so nice. I don't know if you guys can hear it. Isn't that so nice? Oh, it's so pretty. Jovi, wishing you and yours a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Looking forward, ah, to more continued crafty inspiration you provide your friend, Terry. Oh, thank you, Terry. That's so nice of you. I was wondering who the card was from. Thank you. Now, this one was sealed by the post office because they tore it right open. So I put washi tape here to cover Susan's address, but this is from Susan Tootsie Tucker. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this this way. But when I pull it out, I'm just gonna stop the camera for a, for a second so that I can cover her address. All right, so I put the little washi on here, but you guys can see what happened. They literally ripped the entire thing open. So, uh, yeah, I just, wow. Anyway, um, but you know, hopefully, uh, just whatever she put in here is is in here and you know and there we go <laughs> that's literally in pieces it says Merry Christmas oops this should go like this I think oh so they probably went to machine it and it probably got caught right there that's what I'm thinking happened I love this die cut here that's fantastic so vintage Life's most beautiful things are not seen with the eyes, but felt with the heart. Have a blessed day with your family. Susan Tucker. And somebody else signed it, but I can't read the name. But thank you so much. That is so nice of you. And I love this card. Oh, it's so pretty. That's awesome. Made with love. Ah, oh, that's so nice. All right. So we, now the next one is airmail and I'm not sure who it's from so let's just cut the side because I don't think there's an address there is an address on the side and I covered it up and there's some washi tape so let's I think if I cut this right here I can kind of see through it with my light and I will not be harming anything if I do that so let's take a look and see what we got in here Ashley Paper and Twine, how nice. Hi, Ashley. She says, wanted to wish you a Merry Christmas. Thank you for supporting my YouTube channel. And she's doing a challenge in April. Hope you like my little card. It probably won't get it until New Year's. Better late than never. She won Card Maker of the Year 2021 in the UK. That's so awesome. And she says, life has been a little bit hectic for her, but she's doing great. So she says she's going to be hosting a new and exciting giveaway challenge in January. So she does hope that we'll keep our eyes open for it and consider joining in. Wow, that's very awesome. Let's see what we have here. Look at that, that's so cute. Oh, and there's the tea for Tea Tuesday. I love it, that is so cute. I love how she made that little tea holder. Simple, but very adorable. So yes, I will be enjoying that on Tea Tuesday. And then, see there's a little something in here. Oh, it says, oh, Christmas tree, ah. Dear Jovi, wishing you a very Merry Christmas, Ashley Paper and Twine. Thank you so much, Ashley. I love this little card, it's so cute. I wanted to share with you something that my friend Gwen of Gwen Offit Designs sent to me. I just adore her. She is wonderful and she is talented. And she sent me an envelope of goodies and she actually sent it to me before Christmas with a Christmas card. The Christmas card is not in here. I had already hung that on my wall with my other Christmas cards, but I want to show you the goodies she sent me. And, and then actually, since I'm talking about Gwen, I will tell you that she's got and Instagram and she also has an Etsy shop and I will link her Etsy and her Instagram in my description box and also I have a discount code for you that you can use it does not have an expiration date 
and it's 15% off and you can use that anytime. So that code will be in my description box as well. So she says, hello, my sweet friend. I'm using my time off to organize and declutter. I came across these in my stash and they reminded me of you. Happy holidays. And how thoughtful is that, you guys? So let's see what she sent me. Ah, uh, yes, pink birds. Love them. Of course, I love it. Ah. These are gorgeous, and I do not have this paper pack. And look at the flamingos, aren't they beautiful? So lovely. Oh, thank you so much, Gwen. And you guys, while we are talking about Gwen, I want to show you, I ordered these from her last year, and I've been using them this year because now it's Valentine's, and I think I had bought them after Valentine's last year or something like that. Anyway, I want to show you how cute they are. They are. Each one of these is a vintage Valentine's Day card. And she takes, and, and you can see that they're vintage on the back. And then she, she leaves the front as is. And then she takes them and she puts a pocket, she lines the inside. Okay, like that. And then she puts a pocket in like this. And then they're filled with ephemera. Okay, so I've been putting out a few Valentine's Day cards, not a ton, just sending a few out because I sent a lot of Christmas cards out, but I'm sending a few Valentine's cards out, and so I'm using some of the ephemera that she put in these to share with you guys, And but I just want to give you a quick look at how beautiful these are when she does them. They're very inspiring. And I just love them. And, you know, I actually want to just hoard them all to myself. And some of them I will. Some of them I will not share. Um, but then some of them I will. And then I'm hoping, I don't know if I can do it this year because, you know, my floors are getting torn up and all that. But I'm hoping that maybe I can make a Valentine's Day journal at some point. If I can squeeze one in this year, I will. But we'll, we'll have to see one day at a time. So anyway, here's the inside of this one. And this had more ephemera in it, but I kind of moved the ephemera around of what I was going to share and what I was going to keep and all that kind of stuff. So I just want to share that with you and give her a shout out because she's just wonderful. And, you know, she not only does she have her own shop, but she also supports other shops. She's ordered coffee dyed paper from me and a few other things as well. And, um, you know, she's just all about community and camaraderie. And so I just want to share the love about her and hopefully you will share some love with her as well. Thanks for watching. See you soon.